Jennifer is here. Listen, we haven't got to see you. I know, it's been a while. I'm excited to be back. Well, we're glad you're here. You know, we, and I have to bring this up. We remember we saw Jennifer, she was a judge at the Doggy Show. I say it like Doggy Days, mm -hmm. Doggy Show mm -hmm. at Westminster. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get to go this year. Sheldon went back. And um, anyway, you were a good judge. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, we thank you. It was, a, it was the hardest job I've ever had to do, but <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was fun. That was fun. Well, g keeping busy, um, this time of year really is busy for y'all. Y'all been doing the Fajita Festival for, I mean, ever since, pro I think I've been News Channel 10. I mean, that's been a while. Yeah, I think it's been over, a little bit over 10 years. I was actually asking them yesterday, I was like, how long have we been doing this? And they were like, well, it's been for as long as we can remember, and half of them can't remember anymore, <laughs> like when we started. And they were like, it's been forever. Yeah, so, yeah. It's a big event for sure, like I said, a big thing for the, you know, the Emerald Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. So just tell us what it means to y'all as an organization, I mean, having the Fijita Fest, and I mean, just how popular it's become, because this year, I mean, y'all are taking it to Hodgetown. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so this event has just grown so much, obviously, because of the support of the community, and, you know, everyone just shows up, and it's a celebration of culture. So, um, you know, we love being able to have this event every year. Um, it's our biggest fundraiser of the year. It is. Uh, we okay. raise funds, you know, obviously for operations, but more um, more importantly, it's for our scholarship that we give back uh, to the Amarillo College, the Amarillo Area Foundation, and WT. So. That's so good. Do you feel like, Jennifer, in, in your time, Executive Director of the Hispanic Chamber, can you, I mean, I feel like there's been some big leaps and bounds, and I feel like our barrio community is looking good, feeling good, making a difference. I feel like that you're have a lot of good Hispanic businesses. Um, and it's not just, just because it's the Emerald Hispanic Chamber, uh, we want everyone to be a member. But I mean, are you really seeing the growth in students? I mean, is it working? Absolutely, I think that, you know, growing up Hispanic, sometimes we have the idea of, you know, after high school, we don't have that opportunity. And I think that parents are so supportive, you know, nowadays, like the mentality has changed a lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, instead of, you know, finishing off high school and being like, okay, I'm just gonna go straight into the workforce. It's like, no, I'm receiving the support. I have the opportunity to continue my education. And a lot of them are taking advantage of that opportunity. So, you know, we're just here to support them with these events and whatever we can do to, you know, continue pushing them along that path to really, you know, achieve all those career goals that they have. Uh, I think it's a, a great cause, great mission uh, for sure. So people who wanna come to the Fajita Fest, so, I mean, they've got options. If, if they want to get those tickets ahead of time, they can. If they got to wait till you know, day of, I mean, they still have some options there, but they can save some money if they get them ahead of time, right? Tell us yes. a little about what ticket prices are and where they can get those. Yes, so um, ticket prices pre-sale are $30. If you are a member of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, they're $30. Um, wait, did I say 35? 30. 35 pre-sale. <laughs> <laughs> 35 pre-sale and um, $30 if you're a member. Um, kids stroll in under $10. Um, you can get those through um, the Hodgetown website. So we have a link that we've been sharing. Hodgetown's been sharing this link as well, so you can buy them online. Um, you can also call the box office. I mean, there's so many options. And then um, the day of, you can buy them at the gate. They do go up to $40 and 35 Okay, so people come, they come to Fajita Fest, they come to Hodgetown and everything, I mean, they walk in, I mean, other than just the sound of, you know, all the sizzling and everything of all the fajitas, I mean, what are they just gonna, what can they expect when they come to this event? What is it gonna look like when you get in there? So, I think it's just gonna be massive. It's a huge event. It's <laughs> gonna be so, it's gonna be so amazing. I can't even tell you, you know, how great this is gonna be. And um, we do have a DJ, Spinning DJs is gonna be out there performing. We're gonna have Al Son del Folklore, which is a folkloric dancers here in town. They're oh, gonna be performing. I love them. Yes, they'll yeah. be performing. And then we do have um, two headliners. So. Eric and Grupo Masore, they're huge. They haven't been to Amarillo in a long time. So really? and we're bringing them out there. And then our headliners are going to be Los Vendavales. So That's people good. are excited. Awesome. Yes, people are excited for that. I mean, it's listen, you, you always have some, some great entertainment. This The ticket price is so worth it. It helps. And r remember, because this is important, while supplies last. I, yes. mean, I really yeah. don't, don't think, oh, well, I'm going to get there late. Don't you dare. Yeah, I've no. done that before, <laughs> and I've been real sad. Yes, I, I yeah. want some fajitas. Yes, it's unlimited fajitas, so come hungry, but it's only while supplies last. So okay. we do recommend getting there early yeah. because people come hungry and mm. they, they take advantage of the unlimited fajitas. <laughs> and when the gates open? Yes, so they open at 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, we're going to go, we're going to take the party up until 1030. So awesome. um, yeah, yeah, we, we just hope to see everyone out there. Friday night. Yes, and mm. News Channel 10 has a good team, so y'all are out there. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh this is going to be good. Listen, I, th I think we do pretty good in fajitas. I've, I've tasted ours before. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I mean, we're just so excited to have you guys back out there and sponsoring this event and participating. So thank you. Hopefully, everyone comes out and tries, you know, 
News Channel sends fajitas. And, good. and everyone yes. else is too. I yes, know, yes. We have 23 cook teams. Oh, that's so, big. Yes, yes. It's going to be huge. Jennifer, that's big. Yeah. Well, keep doing what you're doing. You're really, you're, you're the Hispanic Chamber making a difference. Thank you. And I'm proud of y'all. Thank and, you so uh, much. I'm, I'm so glad you came today. We got to go, Sheldon. Absolutely. That is for sure. And